Welcome to the Print Spaces Colour Management Guide. We are going to show you everything you need to know to make colour accurate prints from your own workstation. There are three stages. For accurate colour management, it's important that the viewing environment is optimised. The optimum environment for your computer is a room with neutral grey walls and very low diffuse daylight spectrum lighting at a colour temperature of 6500 Kelvin with no direct lighting hitting the screen. If grey is not an option for your walls, then we would suggest that you have a room with neutral colours and is darkened down, resulting in the minimum amount of light reflected back from the walls to the screen. The monitor is the key to the accurate preparation of your files for printing at the print space. You need to have a good quality monitor that can be accurately calibrated and is not too old. At the print space, we use ISO Color Edge monitors, but there are other excellent makes out there such as Apple or NEC. Laptop screens are not great for color accuracy, however. The next thing to do is to calibrate your monitor. For this, you will require a spectrophotometer. At the print space, we use the X-Rite i1. This can either be done using software calibration or hardware calibration, depending on the monitor you use. Higher end monitors tend to use hardware calibration, which is preferable. Either way, before you can calibrate, you must make sure that the screen is clean and free from dust, and that it has been active for at least 30 minutes to allow it to warm up. Remember to turn off any active screen or energy savers, and to perform a factory reset on the monitor prior to calibration. Firstly, we will demonstrate a software calibration. This type of calibration adjusts the video card inside your computer. Load and install the calibration software. Run the software using the advanced mode setting on the monitor. Make sure you select the monitor type CRT or LCD. And the following settings, luminance 120, gamma 2.2 and color temperature white point of 6500 Kelvin. Calibrate the I1 by placing it on the white plate. and then back onto the screen mount. Positioning the spectrophotometer in the centre of the screen using the weighted device, making sure it's lying flat on the screen itself. If you have a contrast control, set it to 100%. If you don't have this control, don't worry. It's worth noting that most higher-end monitors will not have this feature. Click the Start button to initiate measurement. Reduce the contrast to ensure the indicator lies within the green tolerance zone. The next step is to adjust the white point. Choose RGB presets if your monitor model has a predefined white point and press next step on the wizard. If you have the ability to, select RGB controls. Click start and adjust individual RGB channels so they lie within the green tolerance. The next step is to adjust the luminance. Select start and adjust the brightness of your screen until it's within the green tolerance. Again. Once this is done, click Next on the wizard to move forward. The final step is the measurement stage and is automatic. Click Next on the wizard to initiate the final measurement of the monitor's colour. Once measurement is complete, click Next on the wizard to create the new display profile. This new profile will be automatically saved as the default monitor profile. The calibration process is now complete and you should have a colour accurate monitor. Now we will guide you through hardware calibration. High-end professional proofing monitors like the ISOs used in the print space have inbuilt hardware calibration that directly adjusts the monitor itself rather than adjusting the computer's video card. These monitors are very accurate and easy to calibrate. Firstly, you need to install and run the software that came with the monitor, which in the case of the ISO monitors is called Color Navigator. Specify settings for luminance of 120, gamma 2.2 and a white point of 6500 Kelvin and check black level box and set to minimum. Click next to launch the automated software. Calibrate the spectrophotometer on the white plate and then attach it to the screen. The crosshairs will align for luminance, gain and brightness when the optimum level is reached. Notice how the monitor settings will be automatically adjusted in front of you. When the process is finished, Press save to update the monitor profile. 
Your monitor is now calibrated. You can now use your monitor to softproof your images, i.e. preview them on the screen to see how they'll look when printed on the particular paper and print type you wish to use. Softproofing is enabled by profiles, which can be downloaded from our website and installed into Photoshop. And there is a different profile for each print type and paper combination we offer. To view a softproof, select View, then Proof Setup, then Custom. A pop-up box will appear entitled Customize Proof Condition. Make the following selections. For Custom Proof Condition, select Custom. For Device to Simulate, select the profile that corresponds to the device and paper type you wish to softproof. For example, if we want to print a C-type gloss print, we select Print Space C-type Gloss. Next, ensure Preserve RGB Numbers is unchecked. Then, you must select the rendering intent. The main rendering intents for photographic use are relative colorimetric or perceptual, and there are advantages and disadvantages of both. If you're unsure as to which rendering intent to use, we suggest you try out both and see which one gives you the best on-screen result. Also, make sure black point compensation is checked and leave simulate paper type and simulate black ink unchecked. Ticking the preview box will reveal the preview and unchecking the box reverts back to the original file. Clicking the preview on and off in quick succession will help you to notice any areas which will be affected by the conversion. If you're unhappy with the previewed image, we suggest that you go back to the original and make colour and lighting adjustments and repeat the preview process. Once you're happy with the preview, you should convert your file to the profile as opposed to preview it. This can be done by selecting Edit, then Convert to Profile. Use the same settings that you used to preview and click OK. Now you have converted to profile, save the file. Remember to rename it so as not to save over the master. Next, watch the file preparation guide to ensure your file is correctly prepared for printing on our systems.